So you own the DJI Action 4 and you're thinking about the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Or maybe vice versa, you own the Pocket 3 and you're thinking about, should I get the Action 4? Or maybe you're in the camp where you're thinking, I don't have either, but I'm trying to figure out which one I should get. Well, this is a video for you. So I am gonna be talking about uh, the Pocket 3 and the DJI Action 4. And I just wanted to go out here. I did a little night comparison the other day with the Pocket 3 and the uh, Action 4, but I did kind of cheat with the Action 4 and I used a gimbal at nighttime. But today I wanted to just kind of show you all if you're wanting to see a comparison between the two, the Action 4 in action uh, without a gimbal. And I'm gonna be putting like um, uh, ND filter on the Action 4, keeping the 180 rule. But I'm also going to do uh, a couple other settings that will kind of prevent those micro jitters. But I wanna show you all what you're gonna kind of expect to see when it comes to the Action 4 and also how it compares to the Pocket 3. So um, let's get this started. Okay, so I've got the DJI Pocket 3 in my right and the DJI Action 4 in my left. Both have an ND16 filter on. We're doing 4K30, 1 over 60, uh, manual white balance at 4700, and um, minus two sharpness, minus one noise reduction, as well as um, auto ISO 50 to 1600 on the Pocket 3, and auto ISO 100 to 1600 on the Action 4. We're using Rock Steady Plus on the Action 4. And of course, the Pocket 3 has a gimbal. So I do have the Pocket 3 hooked up to the DJI Mic 2. And um, this is going to be a test with the Action 4 using the 180 degree rule. Now I will later bump up the shutter speed to show you all what that looks like. But this is now the daytime comparison between the two cameras. I feel like the focal length is a little similar, although I think it's punched in a little bit on the Action 4. Maybe I could have done just a Rock Steady instead of the Rock Steady Plus. But um, they're pretty similar, I would say. How is this faring thus far? Um, not walking. I'm just walking normal as usual. Now uh, let's flip it over to the selfie mode. Okay, so here is selfie mode. Um, yeah, so it does look like the Pocket 3 is punched in a little bit more. I don't have the uh, wide angle on the Pocket, but um, you probably will see some micro jitters on the Action 4 just because the shutter speed is not bumped up. Of course, you're going to get realistic motion blur, but um, how does that look? Okay, so I'll just let you all know what I'm doing now. I'm going to take the DJI filter off of the Action 4, and um, you're not going to get proper motion blur on this next example, but um, to avoid those micro jitters, uh, the key to improving the um, the stability and the lack of micro jitters is to bump up your shutter speed on the Action 4. So I wanted to shout out a fellow YouTuber. Um, his information is right here. This one walks. I also have him down in the description. Uh, he helped me kind of understand how to jump up that, um, to pump up that shutter speed to avoid those micro jitters. So um, let's see what this is going to look like. Okay, so I am going to chime in here after the fact. This is the DJI Action 4, and this is without the micro jitters. Let me just pause here for a moment. So here is the first example. What do you think? That's pretty crazy, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're getting micro jitters like crazy.
I mean, the only way to avoid these micro jitters and get the perfect motion blur on these action cameras is to use a gimbal. And in most cases, who's going to want to use a gimbal with an action camera? So that is pretty crazy, huh? Now let's take a look at both of them at the same time. So what do you think? I mean, it's pretty crazy the difference between the two. The Action 4 with a shutter speed bump, I mean, that looks like it's on a gimbal. So why don't we now compare the Action 4 with a shutter speed bump and the original DJI Pocket 3 footage and see how they compare. So here we go, the Pocket 3 with the uh, 180 roll ND filter on the right and the Action 4 with the shutter speed bump. Now, of course, I know the Action 4 is not going to have um, the perfect uh, motion blur and maybe some of you are really bothered by that. But for the average person who just wants to use the Action 4 and get the most out of it, I've got to tell you, this is really impressive. I I have to say that um, in the event of when I do need to use the Action 4, um, I don't have to worry about those micro jitters, especially if I'm in the rain or, or wherever I'm at. This is pretty dope, I have to tell you, man. Um, yeah, do people even use dope anymore? Oh, man, I'm an old man. So well, let's talk a little bit about some of the pros and cons of the Pocket 3 versus the Action 4. Now, of course, for pros for both of the cameras, um, they, they both are pocketable, of course. And um, yeah, they're, they're not intimidating when you're walking around vlogging in public. Unlike mirrorless cameras, with, and especially if you're using a gimbal and with a microphone, people kind of clam up. Um, stores don't like you recording in them in them with them <laughs> and uh yeah it just it draws a lot of attention so with the pocket three and the action four you you have that uh advantage in, in terms of um yeah just not being an intimidating camera at all um i think the differences start happening with uh evening time so uh the pocket three of course uh with its gimbal you avoid those micro jitters. You have more light coming in from the sensor because it's a larger sensor. And uh, at nighttime, it just, it really shines. Now, of course, with the Action 4, it's rugged. You can take it to the beach. You can take it to a swimming pool. You can take it outside when it's raining. You can go hiking with it. You can do all kinds of things that you really can't do with a pocket. So, I mean, yes, the advantages speak for themselves, but it is something to consider. I think both of them are really, really strong candidates for vlogging. Uh, I mean, if you are okay with bumping up the shutter speed and to avoid those micro jitters, I think that's pretty clutch. I, I think it's really, really nice. Another thing I want to mention with the advantage of the pocket, I mean, the advantage of the action, which I'm filming on right now, the camera is pretty close to me. I'm in a small little cafe and the table's small, but I can get a pretty wide angle with my coffee cup in the, um, in the shot and not have to worry uh, about um, is, it, is, is the frame that I want going to be able to be set up easily. With the Pocket 3, either you have to put on the um, wide angle attachment or you have to put the camera on another table or you have to scoot the camera back to get a nice shot. With the Action 4, you can put it on a table and just set it to wide or ultra wide and you've got the frame that you want. Uh, I keep on looking at the small little screen. It's very distracting. I got to focus on looking at the camera. But yeah, um, I think both of them are really great vlogging cameras. Um, yeah, Gemini Connect, uh, they're a channel that maybe some of you follow. Uh, she and her partner, they really love vlogging with action cameras. I didn't really see how they would like it over the pocket, but um, yeah, certainly there is advantage with it. The pocket is obviously a little bit more, uh, you know, there's there's a little bit of breakability, I guess. It's, it's not as rugged. Uh, 
Some people talk about the, the flip screen not working well. They're worried about the gimbal breaking. While I have the DJI Care Refresh, it would still be a, uh, a nuisance to have to break it when you're on vacation and not be able to use it. But um, yeah, my upcoming vacation, my trip will be interesting to, to kind of like use both of them and uh, see how they handle on like a real life example, not just walking around doing camera comparisons. So it'll be fun. I look forward to uh, giving you guys all some more content on that. So yeah, what do you think? I, I think they're both pretty cool cameras. Um, you can't really go wrong with either, but um, well, as usual, man, this stuff is really fun. Cameras are just fun. Uh, not only do they connect with me on a personal level, but I feel like cameras connect us together. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, anyways, you all, um, thanks for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below and uh, I'll see you in the next one. God bless, peace.